Welcome back out to the Willamette National Forest, not far from Blue River Reservoir, where I've done a few shaves. I was trying to think of what my last shave was out here. It'll come to me in a minute. In a different spot from where I've been before. The reservoir is down a ways. We're actually up an old service road and one of the creeks that lead into the reservoir. The reservoir is fed um, by Blue River, hence the name Blue River Reservoir. But there's also, of course, I don't know how many creeks. This reservoir is probably six or eight miles long. It's not very wide, but it's very, very long stretches east to west kind of ish and uh, a lot of creeks feed into it I'm applying tube 2.0 my go-to pre-shave at home I use the actual cube when I'm traveling mostly when I'm doing these outdoor videos is when I use this and I love it let me get this worked into the beard I'll wipe off my hands and we'll be right back All right, so I have the pre-shave uh, tube 2.0 worked into the beard. Directly below you, uh, I have a, a mirror. To my left, my captain's choice. And my stainless steel. I use this for rinsing my uh, razor off in between passes. In case you missed the thumbnail or the description, we are using Atomic Pumpkin. This is Doug and Fran's Atomic Age Bay Rum with pumpkin spices. This new label first debuted um, 2020. So this will be the fourth year, 20, 21, 22, 23. Yeah, so four years. This is its Fourth year being out, before that, we had this label. This label's no longer in production. I believe I got this one in 2018, and then I picked this up in 21. So this would be two years now that I've had it, and I love it. Absolutely love it. This is the CK1 formula base, soap base, which is no longer available. So here in a couple of years, I'll definitely be picking up a CK6 because as you can see um, with all the soap that I have I actually use this quite a bit I love it prior to 21 I'll talk about this as I whip it up prior to 21 I only had the splash and the reason what with that was is I paired the splash with atomic age bay rum the soap I'll start putting some of the bay rums right up here I have the stick of Atomic Age Bay Rum, and then I also have, I think it's the CK1, it might be the CK6, tub of soap, and the star jelly. So prior to picking up this a couple of years ago, I just paired my splash with Bay Rums, and I believe it was always Atomic Age Bay Rum, which I have Atomic Age on the back of my left hand. Doug's first ever fragrance was what is now known as his classic bay rum. I love it. It's, it is what inspired him to create fragrances. My understanding, the way that I remember Doug telling the story, look at that lather, is just gorgeous. CK1 is a wonderful base and I still think it stands up to most of the bases on the market today if not better I mean that might just be the fanboy in me but there was nothing wrong with CK1 not in my opinion uh, the CK6 better in some ways that's not what this video is about this video is about this killer freaking fragrance I have the star jelly and I have the solid cologne. I've yet to pick up the EDP. I need to, and I want to. 
I also have the solid of the Atomic Age beer rum, but I don't have the EDP of it. Look at that, just beautiful. Get that mixed in with the uh, pre-shave and it's really gonna explode and I'm gonna have to add water. I'm using my Atomic Rocket. Here's another unobtainium. The brush is still in production, but today if you buy the brush, you get the black um, emblem with logo on the bottom. This fragrance, let's talk about the notes real quick. We get a little bit of water. First, let's talk about West Indian Bay, for those who don't know what it is. So you take a bay leaf, right? We're just gonna, kinda like a Crash Course 101. Take a bay leaf and you steep it. Traditionally, we don't know what Doug is using. That's something that he's been very tight-lipped about. He's never told me, and my understanding, from what I've seen, he's never told anyone. So, what, I, what I'll be describing is your typical run-of-the-mill spices that go into your traditional West Indian Bay rum. Cinnamon sticks, patchouli, pine needles, generally like an orange or some kind of citrus. And then it will often contain cloves. There is no clove, to my knowledge, anywhere in any of Doug's bays. And I like that. A lot of times you'll have an artisan, a perfumer, that will take a West Indian Bay fragrance and then add more clove to it and that's when you end up with what we see on the market today in my opinion of fragrances that just have too much clove because already you have a clove in the west indian bay rum and then they add more notes to it and oftentimes those added notes is more clove i do like clove in some fragrances but i do not like clove in my bay rums I own all of Doug's current line of bay rums, including many or all of his seasonals. The only one I don't have that I'm aware of is um, that he has produced is the Pomegranate Bay, and I'd love to get my hands on one of those. If you have an extra full-size set, I'd love to buy or trade it. Before I get into the notes, the Metaphor Brass. Matthew Lawrence just sent that to me. In fact, I believe two videos ago was my mail call. I haven't decided, or we haven't decided if I'm paying him for this or trading him for it. He gifted me a set of Harvest Moon. I love Harvest Moon. I was about to ramble about Harvest Moon and I stopped myself. I love this razor. The weight is almost the same as the stainless steel. I own the stainless steel. Just the schnurd in me, the collector, the PAA fanboy. Uh, I want the brass. I have the Ascension. That's another razor made by PAA. And I have that and all the metals that Doug has made that in. And I wanted to do the same thing with this uh, metaphor. The scent profile for Atomic Pumpkin. Luna is to my left playing in the creek. My wife is over my shoulder to the left uh, reading a book. You'll see that in the B-roll in my setup and how I'm balancing over the creek. I'm literally standing over the creek on some rocks. The scent profile. After West Indian Bay, which my understanding is what we find in Atomic Age Bay Rum. We then start running into what you could call the pumpkin notes. I've said this before in my fall winter fragrances video that I did. I'll try and remember to put a link to that in the description. 
I'm not a pumpkin spice kind of guy. My wife and daughter, they are. They'll buy the candles, buy the mochas from, you know, Starbucks and Dutch Bros. We have Dutch Bros out here in Oregon. Dutch Bros is, I think Starbucks, but better. They don't burn their beans. My wife loves Starbucks, so I gotta be careful how loud I say that. I, I enjoy Starbucks, I'm not, it's so, I like coffee, period. However, um, I don't drink a lot of coffee. I'm a rock star, energy drink kind of guy. I know that's not good for me. So we take Atomic Aged Bay Rum. From there, we add Moro Blood Orange, Allspice, Light Cinnamon, Ginger, Nutmeg, and Elamai resin. I'm not gonna talk too much about what West Indian Bay smells like other than I'll say that it's masculine. And then from that, I'll leave that up to other videos. I wanna talk more about the, the spices that are in this. All spice and light cinnamon. And so that means he's just adding a little bit of cinnamon, just a, a light touch of cinnamon to this. Ginger, nutmeg, elamite resin. Atomic pumpkin bay rum. So you take what is in Doug's atomic aged bay rum, you take these spices, and then Doug lets that steep for six weeks and that really helps to impart the fragrance. The pumpkin type fragrance in, into this. Amoro blood orange. Think of a juicy citrus, but it's woody and like berry-like. So it's not your typical orange. It's much darker in appearance. Did I say first use uh, treat platinum, trick or treat, treat? That was my wife's idea. See the pumpkin? Allspice, light cinnamon, ginger, and nutmeg. Kind of self explanatory, right? Um, been around a kitchen at all, you know those fragrances. Even my resin. Spicy, peppery, woodsy. So you take a bay rum fragrance, but like I was saying, this, I am not a pumpkin spice guy at all. Um, in fact, I've tried a few other pumpkin fragrances out there and they just really weren't for me and that's because they kind of had that candle mocha latte over the top to it. This is more bay rum than it is pumpkin, if that makes sense. The pumpkin experience in this kind of takes a back seat, if you will. They're like, it's not front and center. The bay rum is front and center, and it's a very mellow type pumpkin experience. Now there's some seasonals like Malbolge. I just did an outdoor review of that not a couple weeks ago from Doris Ranch. And I said in that video that that is a fragrance that I can wear all year round. Atomic Age Bay Rum, for me, it's not the same experience. Um, from September through January, or you know, Christmas basically, I'll use this. But outside of that, I don't. And that's because the pumpkin is enough. It's, it's present enough that it's festive. But it's not so present that it turns a guy like me off. And it's still very much masculine. This is a masculine pumpkin. Yeah.
For real, it is. And thankfully it came out early this year, so if you've never tried it, and you like Bay Rums, at the very least you need to grab a $1.25 sample off of the website. If you like Atomic Age Bay Rum, and you like pumpkin spice, like even a little bit, you should probably just buy it. I will not profit from the sale of anything in this video. As you can see, I like it. That's, that's pretty deep. I'm almost to the bottom. It's a, a lot of shaves in just a couple of years. The wife and daughter both like it. So for those of you keeping score at home, this is one that Emily does like. Does she love it? No. Does she like it? Yes. I double checked. This is a 7.5 on the Emily scale. The wife doesn't care for Atomic Age Bay Rum. In fact, she doesn't care for any Bay Rums. It, for her, it's just like an eh, like a five. She doesn't hate it. She doesn't like it. This Bay Rum, the coconut and the pineapple. Oh, and, and Space Nog. Space Nog, that's a Christmas one that comes out. Uh, I'll try and remember the photo of that. I did some screenshots before I came up here. Um, the wife and daughter both love Space Nog. So outside of Space Nog, Atomic Pumpkin, those are the two that Emily likes. The wife also likes pineapple and coconut. But like your um, Boomtown, they, I love Boomtown. In fact, Boomtown is probably my favorite. Maybe Magi or Kiramati as well. Two more uh, Christmas, winter seasonal ones. Um, got some stubble right here and right here. The metaphor is a milder razor. If five is average, I give it like a four or 4.5 on the efficiency scale. But um, right here, I did really, it, I did a great job over here. It's more stubbly here. But I think if I leave that alone, it'll be just fine here in an hour or so or less. Let's use the creek to rinse. I'm gonna pause it, find a comfy spot on the rocks and hand the camera to my wife. See you in a second. Oh yeah, it's gonna be nice. <clears throat> You want to help me, Luna? <laughs> no easy way to do this, guys. Feels great, though. It was probably about 80 or so when we came up here. Maybe 75 or so now. Luna. Thank you. I won't lie, that felt great. It was a little awkward getting down there, but that felt great. Killer shave. Oh, uh, the everlasting alum block stick. So glad I bought this. $9.95, I believe. This should last me forever. In fact, I'm kind of eager to find out just how long it does last me. Wipe it on the inside of my shirt just to help dry it off a little bit. When I get home, I, of course, take everything out and clean it really well. Beep, beep. Atomic age. So the label may have changed, but of course the product is still the same, exactly the same. I'm telling you guys, it smells so stinking good. Nobody, nobody does bay rum like PAA. Like I was saying at the beginning of the video, the whole reason why Douglas got into Bay Rums or into creating fragrances 
was because he wanted to create a better bay rum. I have tried so many bay rums. While there's many that I like, um, was the Ogallala. They they make a, a bunch of different um, bay rums, like with different scents added to it, vanilla, this, everything, right? And there's a few of theirs that I really like, but for the most part, either I don't like. Okay, I'll be honest. I love Barrister and Man. I love Sterling. I'm not crazy about their Bay Rums. In fact, if 10 is like the best thing ever, I give them five. They're just an average, middle of the road like. Now I'm a frag head and I like, for me it's harder to find a fragrance that I don't like than it is for me to find a fragrance that I do like. Now, and most people are the opposite. You know, like my wife is that way. Emily is that way. Most people are like that, but I am the kind of guy that it's harder to find a fragrance that I don't like than it is to find a fragrance that I do like. Because when I say I'm a frag head, I mean I love fragrances and I can learn to appreciate almost all fragrances. So that being said, I do feel that way about these other Bay Rums. But if someone was to ask me, you know, what Bay Rum they should buy, it's not just because I'm a fanboy, but I would recommend PAAs over anybody all day. And that's because I genuinely love Doug's Bay Rums, especially Atomic Age and Boomtown. Boomtown is my favorite. And then I enjoy coconut and pineapple. When I'm in the mood, I absolutely love them. But if I had to pick my favorites from like the ones that are always available, Boomtown, Atomic, Classic, Coconut, pineapple probably in that order coconut and pineapple flip-flops for me but I love boomtown and atomic in fact I have the whole lineup of boomtown well I need to buy another solid I ran out of solid and actually yeah <laughs> I won't go too much more into my schnurdery because I've kind of gone over the top with the boomtown like all the labels all that stuff I freaking love it PAA's uh, Bay Rums are the best. I, like, I can't say enough good things about them. I want to thank you for joining me out here today. Uh, I didn't talk about it at the beginning. You saw it in photos. This is from Ian, my scooper, my sword. He is working on a commission one for me right now. That's all I'll say about that. Thank you again, Ian. I'm loving these things. I'm going to send you a message. I had a thought about this today when I was taking some photos of it. Other than that, I love you a long time. It's the little big things. It's only shaving. I'm going to keep my content positive, even though i got a whole lot to say about some things that have been going on in the community. I'm trying really hard not to go there. Fingers crossed. You all take care. Have a great week. Happy Halloween. Take care. Thanks for joining me. Welcome to the B-roll. Have you been glued to the edge of your seat like Luna? Nice catch, kid. I trust that the shave went well. And she goes over and lays down with her mom. My wife's been over there reading a book. Last time I was up here, where I'm standing was underwater. I have my setup on this. I'm gonna do a, a pan out real quick. I have my setup on this giant fallen tree. It almost looks like a couple of trees the way it fell, but I think it's just one. You can see this big rock that I've been standing on. Part of the shave, I've likely been standing on these rocks. I placed a couple of them, that one right there, 
might end up actually putting another one right here for me to stand on. My camera has been mounted. Yeah, buddy. This was ravaged by fire in 2020. And this is September of 23. The forest fire, I'm gonna pan out again. Luna, stop. She wants me to throw another stick. The forest fire came through here late spring, early summer of 2020. Her ball, we gotta get it before we leave. Right there in the center of your screen. I'm gonna move over real quick and give you one more glimpse. So this is just a creek that feeds into Blue River Reservoir. Um, it's The reservoir itself is fed by Blue River. Um, and this creek actually goes underground, not at the end of your screen there, but down and around the corner it does. Um, the pictures, if I uploaded them to this video, of the soap on the log was taken down there. Our car is up and around that way. My biggest little thing right there. Thanks again for joining us. It really is the little big things. Y'all take care and we'll see you next time. Happy Halloween.